Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Tegan and today I'm showing you how to set up Touch Bosl. So first we're going to go through the installation process and then I'm going to show you how to add it to your firewall. It's a little bit different depending on what your antivirus is. And last I'm going to show you how to add buttons and pages. Later I'm going to add a new video where I'm showing you more advanced features. But this one is just to get you started and see if you like it. So yeah, let's jump on in. Okay, so we're on my wife's computer and we want to download Touch Puzzle. So just go to Touch Puzzle. I'm just going to leave a link in the description. So touchpuzzle.com it works for OBS, Streamlabs, XSplit, and various different applications. And if you can use macros and stuff, you can just, yeah, you can use it to everything. <laughs> it's genius. I've just sped up the download, so you can just see while I walk you through the installation just click on it and run it accept the agreement i'll read through it like <laughs> like a boss and i'm choosing a different installation folder just because i know the m disk is has more space on it just install And we need to restart the computer. So let's see. And we're back. I'm gonna delete this icon cause I like to have a clean desktop. New version. So <laughs> We downloaded it and now we're just updating it. <laughs> that was fast. Okay, so we're adding it to the firewall just so we know that it's gonna work. So it can uh, communicate with our phone or tablet or whatever you are using. So Firewall, this will be different depending on your antivirus or if you're using the Windows built-in firewall. So when you are on your firewall, you just search for this, Java, and then you see Java Platform SE Binary. And you need to accept it. so that it lets the communication work. Okay. And then we can just go through easy here. English next we're using streamlabs obs next and yeah you can do whatever you want here yep that's all right so next this is the start of page or how it looks when you start it we're going to move over to my computer and that's a little, a little bit different. So yeah. <laughs> that's all for the installation. And let's just move over. 
Okay, now that we are on touch portal, here you see you can create a new page and you can manage all your pages if you want. We are going to cre create a new page and we're going to call it buttons. So this is the default four times two. And if you click here, you can add navigation, go to page. And we want to have either a previous page or a main page. We are gonna make it from the main, main page. And for it to be visible, we need to have a text on it or use an icon. We're just gonna use text. So what are we calling the back to main back? Let's just call it main. And we want to color it red. Why not? Red and green, so it's easy to see. And for these colors to appear, you need to have transparent background. Yeah, color cl clashing. <laughs> Maybe something like that. Main. And how do we get to this page? Like the buttons page. We need to add buttons to the main page. And I'm going to add it here. So just click and go to page and go to buttons so here we're gonna have buttons and we're using yellow and orange take away the transparency and we want rounded corners and you can customize some of this you can even make the buttons larger if you want. And if you have bought the graphics upgrades, you can also upgrade with RGB or retro or edges graphics. And yeah, that's for another time. <laughs> so now we have the button here, as you can see over my head somewhere, like all the way on the top here. <laughs> You can see a buttons is here. And this is back to the main. So it works just as it should. And if you want to go to the buttons page, you cannot click this button again. That's just editing the button itself. You need to find it in pages right here and buttons. Here it is. And this is the page. Okay, so now we are trying to make a macro for Discord, but in the buttons map. So what you want to do is you go to the page through pages and just click on an empty square. And here we have the options to <laughs> lots of different stuff. And Discord even has an a separate plugin, but this doesn't work at the moment. It might work when you are seeing this video and that would be great, but it doesn't work for me at least in this moment. So I want to make a macro. So I'm using the virtual key press. Uh, so you just click on it and it comes up here. And then you can choose here what you want to do. You can also hit your keyboard. And I think I made my macro to control shift plus on the numpad. So here it is. We need to write something, mute. Yeah, that's good enough. And let's make it 
Discord is, let me see, something like this color, I think. And then this in the middle. Well, mm, that's good enough. <laughs> Let's see if it works. You can see right over my head. So the microphone is on Discord and off and on and off so that works so yeah that's how you make an a button in a touch portal so that's it for this video and i'll be back with a more advanced guide for touch portal at a later date and i'll see you then bye Thank you.